Hi guys, it's Tramilla here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Lisa Aldred Velveteen Liquid Lip Colour. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. It's supposed to be a liquid lipstick version of her very great, incredible True Velvet lipstick, one of my favourite matte lipsticks of all time ever created. It is so creamy, it is really, really hydrating and it's such a fab matte. So I'm really excited to see what her liquid lipstick version of this will be. I got the shade Blush, a deep pink berry with muted cool undertones. She says it is a silky smooth, super long wearing liquid lip colour in a customisable formula with a soft focus matte finish finish, bringing a playful new twist to the velvet lip experience that lasts all day. So it comes in eight shades, they are Blush, Rain, Affair, Dragon, Jazz, Muse, Ribbon and Fawn. And I have the lipstick in Jazz and Jazz was very, very appealing. It's one of my favourite red lipsticks and this one looks even richer and more sumptuous. But I don't wear red lipsticks that often and they tend to, I tend to like them on in the video and then they tend to just sit in my drawer. So I decided not to go for the red one just because... I'm obviously not gonna wear it. I was also very tempted by Rain, which looked a bit more brown. I was also tempted by Affair, which is like my one of my favorite lip gloss colors. It's like a really nice, nudey, browny beige. It is 21 pounds and 27 US dollars, so not a huge dramatic difference. Usually the dollar price and the pound price are quite different. So this is nice, especially for everyone in the US. You can actually get this quite easily. I'm gonna show you some swatches, show you the packaging, and then I'm gonna get in to a demo. when I first watched this I thought oh my god it's really pink and berry like and it's quite bright and bold and not really what I was looking for but actually when I swatched Lane from Glossier in the G-suit I felt a lot better about it because I wear Lane pretty much every day and for it not to be that different made me feel a bit better it is much more berry and much richer than Lane but it has a similar tone to it it's not too far either from the Charlotte Tilbury although it's a lot plummier and richer as well but the dry down on this Lisa Aldred is pretty quick and it's really good and um, the Charlotte and the G-suit from Glossier they don't really dry, dry down to like a fully matte finish, which is nice, but they're not as long lasting as something that actually dries to a matte would be. So I quite like the idea that this actually is going to stay put. And once I said blush out loud, I realised I had a gloss of it. And it's not, it's a gloss I wear sometimes, but not every day. So I thought, oh God, did I get the wrong shade? But swatching it next to, next to the blush gloss, it's a, it's, it's a very different shade. It's like a much more full on 
version of that gloss like it's more berry it's more punchy it's deeper it's drier it's matter it just looks very different so i don't feel like they're that similar velvet petal it's nothing alike velvet petal is very very pink but they do have the same matte finish which is the reason i wanted to swatch velvet matte from her collection next to these liquid velvets because they do actually have exactly the same finish and also when i'd swatched all the others it felt like muse was definitely a lot more similar to it than i initially thought it would so i got muse uh, muse is a bit more mauvey purple than berry purple the muse is a lot softer which is probably why i like it a lot one thing i will say about this it was really hard to get off uh, so it definitely does have staying power once it dries down i really like the packaging the packaging is very sleek it's very chic much taller than the charlotte tilbury one and skinnier but i do like the frosted component it just suddenly makes it look much more luxurious as always it's got the lisa eldridge uh logo stamped at the top one thing i would say is that the applicator isn't as sophisticated as some of the other ones i have like the glossier one and the charlotte tilbury one both have more interesting shapes but i guess this is just a classic it just does what it should do uh so i'm gonna try it on i'm just gonna pop it on a bare lip as a full-on lip color and then we'll see how it goes then i'll pop it on with some lip liner as always my charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense and then i will blot it as well on it looks a lot more pink than i anticipated it looking it looks really bright and pink i will say the applicator isn't as nice as the charlotte tilbury one or the glossier one it just doesn't have much flexibility in it, it just feels really rigid and it's just such an old school applicator that it kind of makes me realize why we stopped doing applicators like that so that's a first thing i'm not 100 percent sold on also the color isn't my favorite on its own but this is it without a lip liner so i don't think that that's a bad thing because a lot of my lipsticks look terrible without a lip liner because it's dried down it doesn't feel as comfortable as her original velvet lipsticks do they always feel even though they're matte they feel super creamy super hydrating this one does still feel like a lip liquid lipstick and that it does feel dry on my lips also you can still see a little bit of my lip color through so i don't think it's really that opaque even though it looks quite opaque from afar when you go close up you can actually see my lips through them if i'm not lining my lips i don't know if this is going to be the best one for me so i'm going to take this off anyway and then i'll try it on again with lip liner okay guys so i've got a bit of lip liner on right now charlotte tilbury lip pillow talk intense So guys that is the liquid lipstick on with a lip liner i definitely prefer this shade it looks a lot more rich it looks a lot more grounded it looks a lot more flattering on my skin tone definitely the way i would be wearing it i think this looks good it does still feel quite dry it doesn't feel as tight as it did without the lip liner on uh but it does still feel not that creamy and comfortable as a true velvet lipstick so now i'm going to take this off and i'll pop it on with lip liner I'm going to try it blotted uh one thing that just really reminds me of the charlotte tilbury is that they both have suggested you can wear this like full-on or kind of diffused or blotted out and one of you guys mentioned which i thought was really funny and really true uh when i reviewed the charlotte tilbury that that's what you can do with every single lipstick but it seems to be a trend uh to kind of sell it as a two-in-one product but like you said it's literally you can do that with everything that you own you can wear it full on or you can blot it out so it is like a us a new usp that actually is a bit silly but hey i'm gonna now try it blotted
color on my lips at the moment on top of this lip liner really reminds me of old school lip stains when I used to get them from the body shop. It's just that kind of berry stain vibe. I'd be intrigued to see how this looks with a more nude uh, or a more punchy deep red. I do like it. I think it's nice. It's not the most comfortable to wear. I prefer the feel on my lips of the Glossier and uh, Charlotte Tilbury ones just because they just feel much more comfortable, much more of a soft finish. They just moisturize my lips as opposed to kind of drying them out. I don't think this will make them any drier, but it doesn't feel as comfortable as something like the G-Suit or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, lip color did. But I like the shade. I think it's actually quite nice. It gives my face a little bit of color and a bit of life. Uh, so I'm going to give you a quick final close-up. So guys, that is it. That is the brand new Lisa Eldridge Velveteen Lip Liquid Lip Color in the shade Blush. I think this shade is really nice worn with, with a lip liner and worn as a stain. I think it is nice on me. It's not the most comfortable thing I have to wear and it's not as comfortable uh, as other things I have. The benefit of that being is that this is going to be more lo long lasting, but I think because it's not my perfect everyday shade, I don't really see the benefit of it being like that long lasting. Uh, but it's nice. It's not too bad at all. I think the packaging is cute. I don't like the wand, unfortunately, and it is quite hard to remove. I personally would stick with the True Velvet Matte Lipstick. My only bugbear with the True, True Velvet Matte Lipstick is swatching two of those. I realise that two of them have already come loose in the, um, in the casing. The bullets actually wiggle around. I think that's because they're so soft and creamy, and even though that's annoying that I feel like halfway through my product, it's kind of not as functional and helpful. I still much prefer wearing them. They're just much more creamy. So guys, that is it. That is my finished look. That is the brand new Lisa Eldridge Velveteen Liquid Lip Color. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying it? Will you be trying it? Do you like the look of it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.